Craig's all frog here. Let's play some GeoGuessr. We have been challenged. This is a world challenge coming to us by way of Lance and Derek, longtime contributor. And uh, we are somewhere where we're driving on the left with uh, Asian style writing. I'm going to guess that means we're probably in Japan, although I think Taiwan also drives on the left, so we've got to be a little bit careful until I see something that clearly says it is Japanese versus one of the mainland languages. Continental languages, perhaps. I don't think Japanese would want them to be called the mainland. Since it's not their mainland. That's a cute little sign. That, that to me speaks Japanese. Upgrading works. Something wall upgrading works. C-E-D-D. -D. Oh, probably because when it rains, like, water shoots out or something? I don't know. Looks intriguing. Why is the internet so bad today, huh? Is it because you know I'm getting rid of you? The change is set. It will not be in time for a live stream this week, but the change is coming. I tell you, Taiwan and Shek O do not sound like Japanese locations. Cape D'Aguilar. Certainly put me in a very interesting place here. One of those really tall blue you are here signs and going there signs. That would be pretty awesome. We are on the Sheko Road. It's water over there. Of course, listening to the music of Europa Universalis for the download content. You can grab the game on Steam. The soundtrack is available there as well. Okay, bus. Oh, oh, where'd you go? There you are. Oh, man. It doesn't look Japanese. It just, it just doesn't. I'm going to hate myself, because if I guess Taiwan and it's actually Japan, I'm going to be very sad, but I, it just, it doesn't look Japanese. Does Taiwan have mountains like this? I don't know. The only reason I think it's not somewhere like mainland China, or, oh god, it could be Korea, because I was going to say because the water's off to the west. No, but it's not Korea, though. That doesn't look Korean at all. I'm second-guessing myself is what I'm doing. So what's going on with this? I can go this way? I can't believe I can walk in this thing. I'm sufficiently surprised enough that I'm going to do so. This is kind of crazy. Maybe this is a secret. This is a shortcut that, that gets me to full knowledge and information. I've got choices now. This is wild. This is exactly the type of stone path like you'd want to explore. Oh, that's as far as we can go. Um, oh, it's not. Still going forward. This is why GeoGuessr is amazing. Like, we would have never found this. You just sit on a bench and look out. That's amazing. City, very ordered. Look, it's a horrible guess, but I'm, I'm not Hainan. I want Taiwan. Here you go. I think it's a horrible guess. Look at how close they are. It's way closer than this. 
There's nowhere on Taiwan that looks like this. Unless it's the mouth of this river. If it's Japanese, it could be anywhere. If it's on the mainland, if it's in China, first off, it would be incredibly rare. But then secondly, like, how would we, how would we ever do that? I, there's too much English to be in China, I, I have to say. There's just far too much English. Now, let's go back to the start. We went that way. Let's go a little bit this way, just to see if there's something in this direction that could be helpful. It's the Sheko Road. I feel like I should be loading up EU4 right now. I miss EU4 a lot, honestly. But I'm committed to getting rid of the CK2 thing. It's going to be done. I'm going to finish up that campaign. Then we'll split off again. We'll do three CK2s and probably three, maybe four EU4s just to make up for it. Continuing south. On the Sheko Road. I don't know, man. I think he got me. It was only the first one, and I'm already lost. It's just a lot of English. Did I go south the first time? Oh my god, I think I did. But no, we were, we were going north. That's so confusing. Oh, I must have swung back around to the north. Oh, good lord. Cape Daguilar. This is not Cape Languilar. That's not either. I kept on doing it anyway. We were actually over in Hong Kong. Wild. Should have considered that as an option. Kind of embarrassing. Well, there's all this English. All right. And then you're gonna be Australia for number two, my friend. That is just cruel. We're going north. There's nothing to the north. You've zapped my will to live with this one. Not really. I mean, I don't, really, I don't know what else to say. We're, we're in somewhere in Australia. BM210. Does that mean we're actually in Botswana? BM. No, we're going to some town. That's right, BM. So we're going to some town. We're 210 kilometers toward, I think, BM. Let's go to the start. We're going to go south. I can get one of those signs going south and I could sort of triangulate my position because I'm between whatever BM is and whatever the other one is. If I catch one of those. I saw Roomba today is having similar problems that I'm having, although he pays a lot more money for a lot better internet service, but he's being throttled too. It's kind of like, look, what do you want me to pay to not be throttled? And I'll pay it. It sounds horrible. It's a little Gestapo-esque. Mm, maybe more like the shakedowns from the mob in the, in, the, in the 20s and 30s. But 
Like, I want guaranteed internet speed. I kind of missed dial-up. Dial-up sucked, but you knew what your speed was going to be. Okay, what does this one say? We're between BM and SF. Somewhere in Australia. Around this region. BM and SF. What are we thinking here? BM and SF, huh? It's BD. This is Stonehenge in Australia. BM and SF. I honestly don't know. Well, I mean, it's in this region somewhere. No, I mean, absolutely not. It's at the top of Western Australia. BM and SF. What are we going between here? I don't even know. I don't see BM or SF. I don't know. Okay. That's a burrow. Looks like a happy little scooter, like eyes and a little smiling mouth. Short plates. Looks European, though. Municipality of Lindos? Welcome to Lindos. I'm a Y. I don't know. That looks Greek to me. Lindos, in Greece. Okay. What's this sign say? Oh, I went way past it. Pefki. Pefki is that way. Lindos is where we are. It's a soccer pitch. Well, I mean, we're looking west. A lot of possibilities. Greece is a moderately sized country. Lindos. I wonder where Lindos is. <laughs> I'm going to kind of do a quick look around the coast. If I can't uh, easily see, we'll just pick somewhere else. In, in my, not somewhere else, I mean, we'll pick Greece, but it'll be some location. Is that one of the islands, maybe? It's obviously not one of the bigger cities. Lindos. Where are you, Lindos? I figure we could check all of Greece, uh, Crete, so why not? All right, so we're not really on Crete. I don't see us on the other ones. Let's just put somewhere near Athens. Ooh, snap, Ola. We're on the island of Rhodes. Cool. It's very uh, CK2-esque, as that is the country that is uh, my namesake right now. Parra, Spanish-speaking country. Looks like a city of some sort. Um, I think I want this road. And since GeoGuessr hates me, it's going to put me down on this road anyway. Well, it looks to be Portuguese. What does that say? Yeah, there's .br. It looks like .br anyway, so I'm going to assume we're in Brazil for the moment. If something comes around to change my mind, I will, like an upstanding citizen, modify my understanding based on fact, even if the fact runs contrary to my beliefs. Unlike, say, the majority of people in the world right now. In many ways, we are more in the Dark Ages now than we were in the 
one thousands. It's like we're gone this this strange continuum, and we've swung back around to the everybody that's not exactly like us is the absolute enemy, which is just sort of strange. You think about it. Maybe we should be more encompassing, I would think. Wouldn't you? I hope so. Here at the frog. Here at the frog pond. We are uh, all encompassing and all opening and welcome. Anyone is welcome here so long as there is not hate in your eyes. Probably not in your heart either. Frankly, it shouldn't be in your uh, anything. This has just become very confusing. Let's go back to the start. I don't want to go down there. I want to stay on this major road. Let's go this way. Like that way I won't fall underneath. And this side, though. More petrol. Petrol everywhere. This looks like a very constructed city. You know I mean, it looks like it's been urban planned. It's not just a mishmash of things. So are we in Brasilius then? Or Brasilia? I think so. I'm going to say we're in Brasilia because, again, like I said, it looks very, yeah, it looks created, which is what they did with Brasilia. Okay, cool. I like that. Five out of five. Five out of five GeoGuessers recommend complete your challenge. There was some writing here. I am getting super hungry. I hope my wife. Uh, hope my wife is not uh, late from work today. All right, so we've got Vmiat, Vmiatin, Vmiatin, Pokraski, Prokaskaya. There's a lot of stuff on that sign. It's probably very helpful stuff. Prolirovska? Prolirovska? Afto. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Marshala. Kukova. Kukova. Marshala Kukova. Ninety nine. I don't know what that means. Dot UA. One dot com dot UA. Uh, what would UA be? It's not the Ukraine, is it? Dot UA. AU is Australia. What would UA be other than the Ukraine? I don't know. But we appear to be in the, Ukra in the UA, wherever it is. If it is the U Crane, great. If it's not, what could it be? I'm trying to think of all the old Russian Federated States. I think it would have to be the Ukraine. There's not a lot of places you can be in the Ukraine, so let's just say we're in Kiev. No, we were south. We were in Odessa. But apparently UA is the Ukraine. Well, UK is the United Kingdom. UR is Uruguay. UA, so UA would be the next one. Eh, well, there you go. Cool. Nice challenge, Derek. Thank you for... Not Derek. I'm sorry. Lanson, Derek. 
I guess same difference. Uh, thank, actually, I don't know. Is Derek actually your first name and Lanson is not? You have created confusion in my mind today. Oh, stretch. Okay, anyway, thank you for sending it in. I really do appreciate that. If you would like to send in your own challenge, please feel free to do so. Go to geosetter.com. That's G-E-O-S-E-T-T-R.com. Put in your five locations. It'll spit out a link. You send that link to me in a private message over Facebook or YouTube. I'll be honest, I notice it more on YouTube, but I'm starting to get more proficient with the Facebook pages, so I will eventually see it there. Send in that challenge, and you, too, could be featured on the Frog Pond. Hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, click the like button. Consider subscribing to the channel to stay updated on everything as it happens. And until next time. Cheers.